My name's William Crow. I'm a pilot in the U.S. Navy. My dad used to be a pilot in the United States Air Force, so growing up we moved around a lot. New towns, new schools, new friends. Dad used to take my kid brother Charlie and me to the air base at whatever town we lived in at the time. Every year there'd be new planes, new models. Every year they were faster and stronger, each one better than the one before. Then there was the accident. Some pilot screwed his landing and crashed. Dad was working in the hangar. He ran out and pulled the pilot from the burning plane right before it went up. Dad was badly burned. He was lucky to be alive, but he couldn't fly anymore. He got a discharge and a pension. Well, the pension was never enough, and pretty soon we found ourselves farming a patch of dirt just to get by. Out there, the only things we had plenty of were dirt and sky. Our only entertainment was a busted old crop duster, so Charlie and I became the Dirt Duster Brothers. We flew the wings off that old crate. As much fun as that was, it couldn't last forever. The Navy was our way out. When we got old enough, we joined up. I graduated from flight training at Pensacola. Charlie trained as a sailor. Before long, we got our postings. I was stationed at Hickam Field, Pearl Harbor. Charlie was on the USS Arizona, a great name for a great battleship, the pride of the fleet. surprise attack. You must take off at once to avoid being destroyed on the ground by their attack planes. Once airborne, you must defend the plane still on the ground and our vital fueling facilities. If you fail, our fleet will be severely hampered in their ability to strike back after this vicious attack. It seems the war has finally begun, Lieutenant Crow. thinking about getting out of bed, the next minute the sky's so thick with planes I can barely see the sun.
I swear, I'm gonna find the bastards that did this to us and make them pay. You don't sucker punch the United States and get away with it. Dear Mom and Dad, there's no easy way to tell you this. Charlie's dead. I wanted you to hear it from me before the man from the Navy arrives, but I'm not sure this letter will beat their telegraph. Charlie was on the USS Arizona, which was moored on Battleship Row. The Japs knew what they were after. They hit the ships while our boys were still in their bunks. The Arizona went down during the attack. As she sank, we could hear the boys trapped inside, screaming for our help but we couldn't get them out. I'm sorry I can't write more, but as of this morning, we're at war. I'm shipping out for Wake Island in a couple of hours. I swear this to you now. Those Japs are going to pay for what they did to our family and our country. William Crow. The attack on Pearl Harbor pulled us into the war. In just a couple of hours, hundreds of Jap pilots hit our fleet hard, decimating our battleships. Thankfully, our carriers were at sea during the attack. This was quite a piece of good luck. But their attack on Pearl was just the beginning. The Japs hit all over the Pacific, from Malaya to the Dutch East Indies. They did a lot of damage, but they also stirred up a hornet's nest. We were mad, and our rage was directed one way, west, to Japan. When we entered the war, we thought we'd get it over quick. We'd be home by Christmas telling stories about how we kicked the Japs' ass. Man, we were so wrong. Hitting Pearl Harbor wasn't enough for them. They wanted Wake Island, too. Now, Wake's just an airfield on a speck of sand in the middle of the Pacific, but they wanted it bad. 